Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Crusader Kings 3. That was amazing timing there, Mordaith. Amazing timing, as we are just getting started here. So thank you very much for the raid. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Um, so yes, we are currently playing as Frisia under good Queen Freya, Arial's daughter of Frisia. And this is basically the aftermath of the succession crisis, which saw us reduced to the county of Yangi. However, we are back, we are swinging, and actually looking pretty decent. And I've been looking around to see what our opportunities going forwards may be. There are a couple of things I would like to do. So the first thing, Sweden right now is incredibly weak. Sweden consists of just 389 soldiers, so we could try to do something in Sweden. Unfortunately, our only uh, CBs against them are for my claims, which is the entire throne of Sweden, which I don't really want, and then also Svanhilda's claims, which is just a single province. Not exactly useful. My real goal would be Novgorod, which is actually owned by a maudling. Although... Not really in a useful position, I don't think. Unless we did take the throne of Sweden. Get him under us. Get him Gardariki by expanding into Vladimir, which is also very weak. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then basically try and re-establish Gardariki. Like, I am determined to do something in Russia. I feel so bad about basically being the cause of the Russian implosion and I feel like we need to do something over here. We need to protect our Russian comrades. We also need to protect our Iberian comrades who are in rather more dire straits, being a single province here in Pravia. Um, the Wulawadi Islamic peoples are almost completing their conquest of Iberia. So that does cause me some concerns. One thing which I have been wondering is whether I want to get an alliance with the Oldham of Novgorod. So right now, we have two allies. And you'll remember very early on, we went down for the... Oh, which one was it? This one. Defensive negotiations where you can propose one alliance without marriage. I didn't read the one. I thought it was just you can propose alliances without marriage. But our one alliance right now is with West Francia, which I don't want to lose. But... We have lots of children at this point. We didn't at that point. And they do have one or two unmarried children as well. So we could easily get a marriage alliance. And I'm wondering if we do get a marriage alliance, whether that will overwrite the diplomatic alliance and allow me to use it on someone else. I didn't realize when I made it that I had just the one. So my thinking is we're going to try and marry into the West Frankian family to secure that alliance. We'll then have a spare alliance which we can use somewhere else, possibly with Novgorod. Although my concerns with Novgorod are his claims are all in Sweden. Oh no, Tikvin isn't. And if he takes Tikvin, then he might go for the duchy. How many troops has he got? A thousand. Not really enough. Um, so possibly we make an alliance with them. Huzzah! If only to secure their flank. But if we make an alliance with them, we can't really go after Sweden as a whole. Um, so that's another issue. I also really want to make it into Iberia. And I do think that our alliance with West Francia is going to be key to that. We could basically target one of the larger groups down here and try and take them out through a holy war. Do we not have holy war CBs? Wait, wait, wait what? Where are my holy war CBs? Why don't I... Huh? Where are they gone? Is this because I haven't unpaused? Let's let a couple of days pass. There we go. New month. Uh... Are our religions hostile? I would have thought so. Yeah, evil. Oh, these are Visigoths. Interesting, the Visigoths are still around. Huh. That I did not expect. Yeah, tiny little bit of Visigoth down there. 
That's interesting. And what do the Mullah Wawadi believe in? Adaptive. Uh, infidel vassals are less likely to join independent and populist factions. Different faith liege opinion, different faith popular opinion. So they get on better with other faiths. Struggle in submission. Head of faith can declare holy wars, great holy wars in the faith as high fervor. If no head of faith exists, adherents gain a bonus to convert faith in county councillor task. Piety and devotion from winning holy wars is increased by 50%. Characters of this faith gain additional bonus upon pilgrimages. And then the Jizya. Domain taxes from different faiths. So they actually benefit from having a very multicultural, multiple faith realm. Which right now they don't. They're a little bit too unified for my liking. Don't you have to border them to get us? I didn't think so. You could be right. Uh, wow. West East Francia is actually orthodox at this point. This is a weird game. Yeah, okay, so you do need to have a border, and because we're no longer tribal, we don't have the conquest CVs. So expansion has just gotten a little bit more difficult. We have to do it through claims. Which isn't impossible. It's just difficult to find claimants that will actually join your court. Unless they happen to just randomly appear. Did I get the culture issue solved yesterday? I wasn't streaming yesterday. You mean on Saturday? What was the culture issue? Oh, where I couldn't be Norse. Yeah, we got a mod which allowed us to fix it. So, uh, oh yes, and then Vladimir. Vladimir is currently only five. They're in a big war and although their military, actually their military is pretty big, it was Ruthenia I was thinking, as a smaller army. I really want to stop Vladimir expanding further towards Gardariki and I really want Gardariki back. I hate the fact that we lost it. Just going to double check that you are in fact Ersteru. You are Russian Ersteru but I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah, you can fabricate claims, but that's just on a single county. Although I do have a Ducal Conquest seat. Now, what, what do I require for the Ducal Conquest CB? Is that still something I have to fabricate? Fabricate claim on county. Possible side effect. Claim on duchy. So is that side effect unlocked because of my abilities? I already have a claim on that county. Why do I have a claim on that county? Is that literally because of Sweden? Viangi. Where's Viangi? It's up there. Rusa. I already have a claim on Novgorod? I do! So why can't I... Oh, it's because Novgorod doesn't exist. I don't have a claim on the Duchy of Novgorod, but I do on the County of Novgorod. But then why can't I declare for that? Ah. I could fight Sweden for the County of Novgorod. That would at least allow me a backdoor in. And it would then be protected by Frisia. And I could try and basically, over time, usurp the Duchy of Novgorod. And then establish Gardariki from there. Because this time, so I've learned my lesson. I need to be a lot slower about establishing Gardariki. I basically need to keep these guys as dukes under the realm of Frisia. Until they themselves are established and can start actually defending themselves. At which point we can raise one of them to the kingdom... And then let them do their thing. But until then, they've got to be dukes. We need to uh, we need to treat it as a colony rather than a de facto kingdom. Any tips for keeping an empire together? Every time I make an empire title, it falls apart as soon as the current ruler dies. I mean, empires are difficult because you're dealing with king-level rulers, and kings tend to have a lot more power than say dukes do. Um, but also, 
they are somewhat easier to maintain because all you have to do is keep the kings happy. If you can keep the kings happy, you should be fine. Marshall says the main problem is your heir has a tiny domain, so the kingdom as a uh, the empire as a whole doesn't see them as worthy once they replace you. Yeah, you've got to basically be very careful about your succession every time you you have a succession. How healthy are we? We're still fine. We need to keep an eye on that because we need to start giving territories away to our heir. We also need to choose our heir. Have we done that? Currently, the heir is oh yeah, Black Wolf. We were going to stick with Black Wolf. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and get a proper marriage alliance with. West Francia. And hopefully this overwrites the diplomatic alliance so I can use that somewhere else. So... Unfortunately clicking on recipient doesn't select their side. I need to remember who my children are. So we've got Malagrot who is already betrothed. Reaper isn't. Reaper is... No, um, you're having an intrigue education, but I don't know how good at intrigue you're actually going to be. I have a feeling not very. And then we have Black Wolf. I mean, we could marry Black Wolf, our heir, to West Francia. Princess Charlotte is god-awful. Oh, man, they have <laughs> stupid and slow as the two choices here. So this definitely needs to be not my primary heir. Garth Wells. Pensive Sadistic. You'd probably be a good fighter. Damocles. Charming. Do they have any sons? So if we chose one of the girls. For example, Damocles. Uh, Payan, who is also stupid. Wow. <laughs> Whereas Frankie is going to have a hard time. Two stupid children and a slow child. I'm not sure I want to marry into this family. Well, how about we marry, like, our youngest to their youngest? Right, Charlotte's a boy. Uh, Frank. We marry Frank to Payen. Fine. We both get a lot of prestige from this, and we do get an alliance with them. So we're going to send them that proposal. Done. So now we have a full alliance with Frankia. It still counts as negotiate. Oh no, we have two. We have a negotiated alliance and also the marriage alliance. So does that mean I can get my negotiated alliance back again, please? I want to use it for something else. Now that I know I only have one... I didn't realize I only had one. Yeah, I didn't get it back, unfortunately. Well, now we know. Then I think the next thing that we've basically got to do is just declare war on Sweden. Because Sweden is having problems of their own. Namely... Is that Sweden? It is Sweden. Why am I not seeing the war I'm expecting to see? Has it just ended? No, it hasn't just ended. Oh! No, Sweden's not fighting the war. Denmark is. So you'll remember that the Karlings took over the realm of Denmark again. However, Duke Dyer the Third of Gotland is currently waging a war against them and absolutely demolishing the Danes. It's minus 64% for the Danes. So I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing a Gotland rise and then Gotland could really mix things up in that area because Gotland is wealthy. It's a surprisingly good territory. For some reason, I, I can't imagine why.
Didn't I own parts of Denmark for a while? Yeah. I mean, if we go to the house view, Maudling Viangi, that's Maudling. Uh, Svati, that's Maudling. Uh, Dyer's Dynasty, whatever that one was. Heart, hold. Uh, the attacker. Horn, that's Maudling. And there's another one. Which I thought was around here, but we may have lost that one. But there's actually several cadet houses of Maudlings now. I would love to reach Iberia. Well, we're, we're currently planning for Russia at the moment, which is about as far away from Iberia as you can get, but Iberia we have time for. Russia, I am not sure. I feel like Russia is a ticking time bomb for us. And the later that we leave, like, getting established over there, the harder it's going to get. And that's true. We could absolutely have gone to this and then just see the significant, the different houses. Maudling Start, that was the other one. Dirkek, Ip. Savati, Viangi, Horn, and the original Maudlings. And we are now the head of it. Huzzah! I can finally choose my own legacies again. Which we did. Yeah, we're Maudling Viangi at the moment. Of the Viangi County. That deep, dark period in our history. Never forget. So, yes, I think what we're going to do is we're going to declare war on Sweden for the county of Novgorod. And then we're going to establish a duchy over in Novgorod. What's all this about? Oh, allies. That's weird. Um, right, let's do this. So we're going to war with Sweden. Sweden fighting somebody else. Sweden's fighting against the Coconosian conquest of Zemuligians. And the Yolanda claim on the Duchy of Sjeland. Sjeland? Sjeland is Danish. How have you still got the Duchy? Why don't you just usurp it? weird. Okay, so we are going to raise our armies. And then head on over to Novgorod. Let's go! Oh, shoot. Except armies cost money. I'd kind of forgotten that. Um, so Sweden right now, super weak. Let's go and send... My men at arms home, except for the onagers. Alright, let's go. Do we want to burn up land on the way? We want to burn up land on the way. We're going to need the money. Mansions have been built in Brucha. Good. And we're in fact making money at the moment because we got rid of the men at arms, which are the expensive bit. You have a claim on the Council of Kassel. That's nice. Not really useful to me. And in fact, once we own Novgorod, we can do Holy Wars against Vladimir if we need to. And we'll need to choose who on earth to put on the throne in Novgorod. Possibly one of the children. Probably one of the children, if we want to elevate them to the rank of king eventually. Faction created against me, the Franconian Catholic Populists. Okay. Oh, we're losing money again. Wait, did they? Did I declare? Shit. You know, I'm going to load that save again because I don't think I want to go to war straight away. Ah! 
because I don't have the money to support a war straight away. So first thing we need to do is marry off my youngest with you, and that's all we did. And I'm still going to maintain that, even though it's a freaking awful match. So it was my youngest son. No, daughter. It was Frank, wasn't it? With Payan. About to lose anyway. I didn't have my safety helmet on. I realized that as well. Same. Countess of Frisia. Are you literally of Frisia? Yeah, the county of Frisia. Okay, don't care. Mansions have been built in Bruges. Good. So hopefully our... Income will continue to rise and rise and rise. So how much money do we reckon we need for this? Probably 100 ducats. I've heard good things about you and I am interested in having a written conversation. Says East Frankia. Frame the letter in my hall. Start exchanging letters or politely decline. I do have a lot of stress, so I'm going to politely decline. Because that's a thing I can do. In fact, can I... No. Do any of those. And what are my counselors doing? So you are converting, that's fine. You are integrating the title within another 10 years. You're increasing development in Amsterdam and you're increasing the control. Fine. What is the development now? 17. Sweet. You arrived as well. Cool. Bye. Oh, right, yes, we had stuff coming in. Where was it? Swift Train, thank you very much for the 27-month resubscription. Very much appreciate the ongoing support there. I do hope one of your beginner guides is on the cards for this game. I mean, I've already done the raiding one. And in fact, I should probably talk about the raiding one. So if you want a Viking's Guide to Raiding, you should definitely check that video out. It's a little bit different from what I usually do, but I had fun making it. Uh, Herr Denga DK... Salvador Munzu Sevas, Hearn the Hunter, Perestroika, and Euthyphro. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Evil Snowball coming in with an 18 month resubscription. Thank you very much for that, Snowball. Very much appreciate that. And. Newbies, thank you very much for the bits. Vikings are like sand. Coarse, rough, and they get everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> and the Franconian Catholic populists already gave up. And we're getting some drink teas. Hang on. Let me bring up the other notification panel. Yes, Foxen wants me to drink some tea. And then Evil Snowball. Playing CK2, trying desperately to reform. Yeah, reforms are not easy in either game. The path to reformation in this one was interesting. Been trying to get into this game. What's been the problem? Oh man, Sweden just lost their army. Who are you fighting that's kicking your ass so hard? I mean, both of these... Wait. Oh no, Sjellund is on their side both times. Okay. Huzzah! Dominic Imo, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Always appreciate those. Thank you very, very much for that. Brocky100, eBudas, eBuds, Dreaded Oreo, Huzzah! Daniel Lindberg, and the Grand Mooch. Congratulations on the gifted subs, courtesy of Dominic. Thank you for that, Dominic. Huzzah! Always appreciate gift subs. Very, very cool. 
Okay, so we have a hundred ducats now. So I think we are ready. Huzzah! Especially considering how unbelievably weak they are. So we're changing our objective to Novgorod. We are actually pressing the button this time. There we go, that's what I expected to see. Huzzah! We are... Raising our armies. We are disbanding... Men-at-arms, because I want to pay for them. And then... And then... Safety helmet. Gotta have the safety helmet. Every time I pull it out, the bubble wrap goes flying. There we go. Safety helmet is on! We can't possibly lose. Let's get ready for this. Armies are assembled. Let's go and... Oh, someone already burned Uppsala. In that case, let's just go for Novgorod. Make sure we get the war goal as soon as possible. Don't care about the criminals. Don't care about the call to arms. I like this mod, but sometimes it goes a little bit crazy with the notifications. Like, you can call about a million people to arms because you're the head of the dynasty. Now, I'm going to ignore drink teas while i got the helmet on. They may or may not be acknowledged afterwards. Ursteru fervor increased by 10. What actually is our fervor at this point? Ursteru fervor, only 51. So if we did want to reform it, change some of the doctrines, while it's relatively cheap, because basically all of the reforms would be 50% price at the moment. 